I think the first thing I got was a face. You're getting beams of light through the picture. Uh, a lot of smoke-like images, globes. Steve Lee and his family have been featured on the TV series Sightings, The Unexplained, and Strange Universe, among others. The Lee home has been visited by a number of paranormal investigators. Psychic Echo Bodine was hired by the TV series Sightings and was asked to evaluate the Lee's home. The final cut for Sightings didn't tell the whole story. Ms. Bodine's book, which includes her experiences at the Lee's and her chapter, The Truth About Ghosts, entitled the log cabin in the woods. I turned around and directly behind me to the left was a male ghost, appearing about six foot with blue jeans and blue checked flannel shirt on. Ms. Bodine goes on to describe numerous encounters with spiritual entities which she says occupy the location. When we looked at it, at first it just kind of looked kind of like a haze and then it started taking shape and it was like there was some kind of mountain trapper type of person in some kind of big wool cloak. We would walk up and try to see if we could put our hands up to the smoky area or see if it felt cold or see what was happening. Ina McClelland is a full-blood Sac and Fox tribal spiritual leader who is well respected by many tribes. She too felt a spiritual presence. And in the one room there that um, is a dining area, I felt uh, a lot of energy there. Gary Hart's expertise lies in the realm of hyperdimensional study. Physicists have hypothesized the possible existence of time-space warps, which would allow beings to travel between worlds or time or both, past, present, and or future. Mr. Hart believes that the Lee's home may be the location for one of those portals. Uh, from a general sense, it's a hyperdimensional phenomenon. Any phenomenon that does not conform to our known uh, laws of physics. In fact, a hot location, even more so, is a location where you have phenomena that is visible. Here, it has been seen and videotaped as solid opaque globes or globs of light moving around in front of you just a few feet away. John Tarvanen, a pre-seminarian and friend of the Lees, told us about what he and his brother saw one night while house-sitting for the Lees. Because we caught something up on the roof, you know, and that's like, you know, shouldn't be there. It's just a ball light, but, you know, averaging like this to, you know, this, depending on where it came out of the roof, and it was mainly, you know, uh, particular to the master bedroom. When you're house sitting, you know, what everybody refers to as a ghost house, and you just kind of, ooh, <laughs> we'll leave that as unexplained. The same type of phenomenon was videotaped inside the Lee home. We asked Keith Prop, a nuclear physicist, to comment on the phenomena. As far as those dots that travel around the room and things like that, the very faint dots, I've never really seen anything like that, especially not on film. There could really be something unusual going on here. Near-transparent alien soldiers pose in the background. we saw some shadow and my friend said did you see that and we all saw it then my friend came running up and grabbed my camera and started running towards the tree and started taking shots it did something that I, I will never forget I couldn't believe my eyes it ran through a barbed wire fence it didn't go over it or under it but through it and then disappeared. We all stood in shock. We, we couldn't believe it. And I know it's something that I would never forget. <laughs> 